Chapter 3, Parallel and Perpendicular Lines. 3.1, Pairs of Lines and Angles. All blue parts. Postulate 3.1, Angle Postulate. If there is a line and a point not on the line, then there is exactly one line to the point parallel to the given line. There is exactly one line to parallel P parallel to I. Postulate 3.2, Perpendicular Postulate. If there is a line and a point not on the line, then it's exactly one line through the point perpendicular to the given line. There is exactly one line through P perpendicular to I. 3.2, Parallel Lines and Transversals. Theorems. Theorem 3.1, Corresponding Angles Theorem. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the lines of the corresponding angles are congruent. Examples in the diagram at the left, angle 2 is equal to angle 6, and angle 3 is equal to angle 7. Proof. Example 36P180. Theorem 3.2. Alternate interior angles theorem. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the pairs of alternate exterior angles are congruent. Example. In the diagram at the left, angle 3 is equal to angle 6, and angle 4 is equal to angle 5. Proof. Example 4P132. 134. Theorem 3.3, Alternate Exterior Angles Theorem. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the pairs of the alternate exterior angles are congruent. Examples in the diagram to the left, angle 1 is equal to angle 8, and angle 2 is equal to angle 7. Proof, example 15, P136. Theorem 3.4, Consecutive Interior Angle Theorem. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the pairs of consecutive interior angles are supplementary. Examples. In the diagram to the left, angle 3 and angle 5 are supplementary, and angle 4 and angle 6 are supplementary. Proof. Ex sample 16, P136. 3.3. Proof should parallel lines. Theorem. Theorem 3.5. Corresponding angles converse. If two lines are cut by a transversal, so the corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So, for example, 36, P180. Theorem. Theorem 3.6. Alternate interior angles converse. If two lines are cut by a transversal so the alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. Proof for example 2P140. Theorem 3.7. Alternate exterior angles converse. If two lines are cut by a transversal so the alternate exterior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. Proof example 11P142. Theorem 3.8. Consecutive angles interior angles converse. Proof example 312. P142. If two angles are cut by a transversal, so consecutive interior angles are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. Theorem. Theorem 3.9. Transitive property of parallel lines. If P and L and Q to R, then P R. Proof. Example 39. P144. X48. P132. If two lines are parallel to the same line, then they are parallel to each other. 3.4. Proofs of perpendicular lines. Theorems. Theorem 3.10. Linear pair perpendicular theorem. If m angle is e if angle 1 is equal to angle 2, then g h. If two angles intersect to form a linear pair of congruent angles, then the lines are perpendicular. Proof. Example 13. P135. Theorem 3.11. Perpendicular transversal theorem. If H and K and J H, then J K. In a plane, if a transversal is perpendicular to one of the two parallel lines, then it's perpendicular to. If it is perpendicular to. Proof. Example 2, P150. Question 2, P150, the other lines. Theorem 3.12. Lines perpendicular to a transversal theorem. If M, P, and N, P, then M, N. In a plane, if the two lines are perpendicular to the same line, then they are parallel to each proof. X14, P153, X47, P132, and other. 3.5, equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Theorem, theorem 3.3, slopes of parallel lines. Proof, P149, X4, D1, P144. In a coordinate plane, two distinct non-vertical lines are parallel. If x only they have the same slope m1 equals m2 any two vertical lines are parallel theorem 3.4 slopes of perpendicular lines proof 4440 x42 p444 in a coordinate plane two non-vertical lines are perpendicular if and only if the product of their slopes is negative one horizontal lines are perpendicular to vertical lines